Well, it is a big weekend. Of course, it's Easter weekend. And if you're looking for some fun spring dishes that you'd like to uh, kind of introduce to the family, yes. this is the guy for you. Chef Matthew is in the kitchen this morning, and you are making up. Tell us what you're doing with, with this recipe. We have a char-grilled ribeye, and when it's about 80 90% cooked, it's this beautiful medium rare plus. We're going to hit it with some pomegranate molasses. So we're, we're, we're taking veggies and fruits, springtime veggies yes, and fruits. Yes, yes. And you're up in the game a little bit oh, with them. Oh, absolutely. And applying them to savory application. I'm totally team sweet and salty. Me I love the flavor. I love the Me flavor too. comp. You know, like yeah. salted chocolate. Yeah. Like mm. bring it on. Yes. Steak with reduced pomegranate syrup. So what they do is they take uh, pomegranate seeds, cook them low and slow. They add a little bit of sugar. Where do this, you find this? Uh, specialty in Indian uh, stores. Okay. Yeah, so I would just Google like what which one is closest to you. I know there's one up in Scottsdale, mm -hmm. uh, right off the 101 in Frank Lloyd Wright okay. uh, up there. Syrup. Yes, and it's delicious. It's beautiful in salad dressings. Uh, it has this wonderful tart flavor to it. Think mm -hmm. of like a pomegranate, how like right. salt and bokeh it is. Right, yeah, pop. Right. You know, it's funny. I'll teach you something. Okay. In Italian, you teach stuff. salt and bokeh, this is medium rare. You can tell them. I, you just know. It. It's, it's medium rare. Uh, salt and bokeh is uh, classically a dish with veal that has like prosciutto and all this stuff on it. But what it actually directly translates to is pops in the mouth. So when you have something you that's go. just like like bringing it Bring and it's it. just it like what's up flavor. like hello nice to meet you flavor you just call it salt and boca oh that's great so what so you just go ahead and glaze yes the, the top and bottom or just top uh, i like to do the top and the bottom okay uh, especially if it's a thicker piece like this you'll see uh this uh swap out i have over here already plated is uh yeah she's like standing no, back no, she no, like no, knows she knows me <laughs> we're okay with that so what i'm very quickly going to do is just turn it over really quick char that outside and look at that oh, wow. money-ness happening, happening. Look at that. One of the well, you didn't even leave it, leave it in there very long at all. So no, that, it's, that. it's not super, super thick. Okay. Um, if you're not used to feeling the steak and yeah. you're like, yep, that's mid-rare. That's mid-rare. Take a internal, <laughs> yeah, hell, yeah, she's like, she's smelling the steak. <laughs> there you go. Uh, oh, take a it. meat thermometer and temp it to like 135. Let it rest for 10 minutes, and that's going to be a perfect temperature. Well, you know, Terry and I have a lot of nicknames for you. Adorable, <laughs> precious. Don't tell me. I'm like that. over here like Wait, trying to be like this like <laughs> top, <laughs> rubbing <laughs> top chef, and then you're like on here like, <laughs> 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 But you have another name too, Southwest. The Southwestern Young Gun. Yeah. It's like, it's funny at work. They all, t I get, they give me so much crap. Well, so they'll all like walk past me, and they'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, guys, come on. Well, I'm well, trying to work here. Well, he has that nickname because the Food Network's Cutthroat Kitchen called you. Yes. And you're airing this weekend. We're going to see some video yes. of that experience. It was fantastic. Um, since I was a little little kid, Miss Allison, who who works here at the, the studios, she's known me since I was like, 16 uh, and that was when I started yeah yeah exactly <laughs> it was last year and was, she um she knew me when I was like cooking as a little kid and it has always been my dream to cook on television uh, I, I love to teach people and be able to share my home experiences and my restaurant experiences and my passion for food with people and getting to do that on the Food Network was it was it's literally a dream come true. Well, we're just lucky you do it here for right yes, now. So yes, we're going to take yes. advantage of you while we can. Absolutely. Okay. Be too At least big for it. Yeah, no, yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> These that. Be, Yes. You know what I okay. Mean. <laughs> so, I let this rest. You like how I did that like segue like talked and talked and let it rest all part of the plan. <laughs> all right, well you keep cutting cuz I want to eat. Look at oh, that beautiful mid-rare. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get a little taste of this. I have to pass on that one. It's a little rare for me. All right, I'll give it a try. Yeah, All right, there Terry, we go. I'm going to let Terry taste it. So, like, I'll give you that piece. I, I want that Okay, you, she wants that. <laughs> all right, all right, there you go. Yes. Kitchen Air Sunday. Yes, 9, 10 Central. We'll see you Monday. Bye.